Hello everyone, welcome back to Starfield, where I finally decided to take the plunge and commit to certain changes to our starter ship, the Frontier. And these are the changes that I decided to make, and you may critique it if you'd like. But what I was mainly going for was more shielding, more weapons, and more cargo capacity. So everything, basically. But we have to balance that with a better generator, and a better grab drive, and etc. So, first I upgraded the shields, and I just went with the top one that would fit into the same slot basically and so there's the modification menu where it just gives you the options that would just fit in without any further shifting around of modules and so we have the weapons here and I went with the PB30 electron beam uh, so it seemed to have more power I guess I don't know how all of it works really I, I replaced the lasers the lasers seemed a little bit weak and so a particle weapon but the specialization for the particle weapons is a little bit higher up in the skill tree and I also replaced my ballistic one I didn't touch the missiles they seemed fine and so yeah those were the basic modifications but then I looked into what they might have in terms of shield generators that wouldn't just fit into that slot and they have a bigger selection of those and of reactors and such. But I decided to hold off on the reactor selection until after I refit the whole thing. I wanted to have more space inside and so removing the center module, you don't have to actually pull all these off uh, normally, but I wanted to also put the cargo bay space, these cargo holds can go on the side of these modules so I just wanted to shift those on and then move the front legs up and so I sell for these uh, smaller cargo hold packs they seem like a better deal in terms of how much we would have to upgrade our engines now that we have to move the legs up to fit those cargo hold objects though we need to have three sort of attachment points and so a body module that has uh, three segments extending our body there and I wanted that anyway I decided to go for a different look uh, I think it's the Deimos one and at different locations instead of New Atlantis you can get different uh, types of interiors and exteriors I think there are five total styles so anyway I decided to try this one out and I moved the hangar bay up so that I could fit engines in the back so now we have extra engines because we're obviously carrying a lot more mass we'll need them and that seemed to do fine for our mobility. Now the grav drive has to be upgraded and I just wanted to have something in that slot. Something I didn't know before but I figured out during this process was that if you just hover your mouse over a particular node and then go into the menu it'll automatically place something on that node. So that's a little bit easier if you didn't know that before. I don't think they actually tell you. Uh, but yeah, during this outfitting I realized that. and. Yeah, as far as grav drives go, I just went with the Helios 200 there. And that seemed to do the trick. We have a 20 light year jump range. And we seem to be a little bit over mass, though. And so I upgraded the side engines to the White Dwarf 2010. We had the White Dwarf 2000s before. And so there's just a minor upgrade, but they can just go into those slots right away. And so that seemed convenient and it did the job. So, now all systems are nominal, and we can do some other sort of visual work. I wanted more stuff on the top. Uh, I wanted a storage module or something, but I looked at these structural parts that are sort of non-functional, but just aesthetic. And there are a variety of those, but I want a functional thing. So, I actually want a captain's quarters, but that won't fit right now. So I just put a Nova Galactic storeroom. Eventually I'll put the storeroom down below and put the Nova Galactic companionway up above, but for now I put the storeroom up there and then put that module there. And the captain's quarters are two spaces, so they won't fit. Now I tried to put two shield generators on. I mean, it seemed like a logical thing to do. I wanted more shielding, but unfortunately it doesn't allow for that. You can only have one shield module. So it has to be it's sort of asymmetrical no matter what you do, but I guess that's fine then. So, that is the situation, and all items were moved to the cargo hold. I don't know if that's how we want it, but okay. Uh, I think they mean the items that were already in the cargo hold? I don't know, I'm confused. But then I upgraded the reactor to the best reactor we could fit in the same slot, and we were all sort of settled. And so I committed to those changes, 
it was I think about 45,000 credits and when I went inside though I didn't really like this sort of aesthetic I mean it's very clean and all but maybe a little bit too clean and also it didn't have a little bed and that's handy if you can uh, re uh, restore your health while you sleep and also remove status effects and I didn't see a bed there though maybe there's a fold-out one somewhere I don't see but I don't think so and these struts that are sort of just there I felt were unnecessary so yeah it's big and roomy it's roomier than it used to be and I went up and I checked out the storeroom and of course that's a Nova Galactic storeroom I really should go over to Neon and see what kind of interiors they have in those I'm sure there are videos on YouTube showing all of them, but it's nicer to find things out in the game to some extent. Uh, so, yeah, well, the storeroom, I didn't really think it deserved its lofty position. So I made some changes. I got all Nova Galactic modules. I basically got the old module back, but I put the storeroom on the bottom level, and I put a companionway on the top level. And so that's what we've got. And so there's me checking out the exterior with new cargo hold packs on the side there, slapped to the side. And this is what my ship looks like now. But in moving the storeroom to the bottom level, I had moved it forward of this sort of passenger compartment. And I ultimately decided to go back and switch that. If you take a look at this, I mean, it's not nice to walk in and it's a nice little interior. And then we got the storeroom here. We really want the storeroom in the back. So I ultimately go ahead and change that. I think this is all I'm going to do with the Frontier. Uh, as far as modifications go, I'll probably be modifying ships I commandeer or uh, maybe others that I buy. Probably more that I commandeer. Uh, so, but for the Frontier, I'm pretty much set with this sort of layout. I think we'll stick to this. So anyway, that is the Frontier as I have modified it. Uh, tell me what you think. With that, thank you for watching. hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me.